This morning I got up and I saw the leaked photographs of Sony's upcoming FX3 on DPReview.com and uh, you know I got quite excited by uh, what I was looking at. Now the editors at DP Review, they were you know fairly circumspect of what they're willing to uh, speculate about these leaked photographs but you know for those of you for those of us who have been you know shooting with Sony cameras for decades um, I do think we can uh, speculate a bit more than the editors of DP Review on uh, what this camera is going to be. So, as we always do on the internet, I'll uh, kind of speak out of my butt and talk without really knowing anything and uh, say what I think is gonna, this camera is. Now, to me, the uh, FX3, it's going to be the A7S III on video steroids. Now, of course, what we read is that the uh, FX6 and the A7S III, they use the same sensor and a lot of the same processors. So I would fully expect the FX3 to be a full frame camera based off of the A7S III, which, you know, for video is a great thing. You know, the A7S III is just an incredibly competent video camera in a mirrorless camera format. So if they do something more video specific, I mean, it just makes it even better. Now, the obvious difference we see here besides the lack of the EVF is the cooling fins that, um, along the left side here. Now, this only makes sense because as we know, Sony has, of course, uh, or a lot of cameras, a lot of mirrorless cameras have an issue with cooling. So to have an active cooling system in place um, only makes sense. Now, moving around, we see that the ports, to me, they look pretty similar to the A7S III, uh, which is good because I fully expect full-size HDMI ports. Um, do not look like it has additional audio ports. Which is okay because Sony, again, using the smart hot shoe adapters, they have a couple of uh, audio options to use with these cameras. You know, we could go with the AudioPod to have the XLR inputs uh, with phantom power, or we could just use these little smart, small smart adapters that'll take their digital receivers for wireless audio. Either way, there are multiple audio options uh, with Sony, within the Sony family, and I expect that to carry over onto the FX3. Now, looking up front, it doesn't look like this camera has internal NDs, or at least not traditional internal NDs. Now, it may have, you know, an electronic ND internally, which would be a great thing, because as you and I know, um, if, if you've never used a camera with internal NDs, uh, you're really missing out, because it just makes production life so much easier to have internal NDs. You know, we've with video cameras, we've had them for decades and decades and decades, and uh, to not have them is a little bit of a loss. I mean, we definitely... It definitely kind of goes back to more of the, the cinema style of working with NDs in front, but we'll have to wait and see if we get on some form of electronic internal NDs with the FX3. Now in the front photo, we can see that the FX3 will have servo zoom control, which of course makes a lot of sense for a video camera. Now form factor wise, I'm going to... I'm going to guess that it's going to use the same battery, the FZ100 battery, uh, which again is not a bad thing, but I'm kind of wondering if the battery grip for the uh, A7S III will fit onto this camera. Um, if it does, that would be even better because, um, you know, again, to have additional battery life uh, without resorting to using the, the uh, USB-C port and plugging that in would just be good. I mean, it just the least amount of add-ons you could have on a small camera like this, to me, the, the better it is, the more reliable it is. Now up top, this does have the uh, accessory, it looks like quarter 20 uh, threaded holes. If Sony has something proprietary in mind, uh, maybe they have a, a new EVF coming out. That would be interesting to be able just to bolt it on right on top. And uh, if we just wanted to like say, add a NATO rail on top and then add some accessories off that, that would be very handy without resorting to a full cage. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, what Sony has in mind for uh, the top of the camera. Internally, my, my main expectation is that the uh, FX3 will offer things like s cinetone and waveform monitors, and hopefully, hopefully they'll offer uh, full-time or, you know, the cropped form factor available in all recording formats, namely the Super 35 or APS-C uh, format. And I say this because there are, you know, all the traditional cinema lenses uh, which will fit, of course, on the E-mount. Um, most of them are for the Super 35 sensor, whether you're spherical or anamorphic. And of course, you know, since this is a video kind of cinema style camera, I would truly hope that we can have the option of going to Super 35 
in you know 4k or 4k 120 without having to resort to uh, cropping in post that'll be a good addition well from these two photographs that's all i'm gonna really speculate on um we'll just have to wait and see but you know i'm gonna have to say this looks like a great addition to the sony line and look forward to using it uh, in the near future that's about it we'll see you on the next one